What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be giving you guys some quick tips on Google Maps. So you probably know how to use Google Maps to an extent where you can just type in your search address and start from wherever you are and route that destination. Now there are a few things that you can do within Google Maps that you may not know about and these are a few of them. So just to start out with, let's go ahead and zoom out here. And let's just say we're going to go to... Los Angeles, California. All right, so there we are, Los Angeles, California. Now you can type in a destination like that, or you can just tap and drop a pin just like that. Now, once you drop a pin, you'll get this little bar down here. So you can just tap on that, and it's going to give you a street view. So you can see, you can just tap on the street view, and you'll get a street view of wherever your pin has dropped. Now you can just drag around just like that or if you just tap the screen you'll get this little button right here so if you tap on that you won't be able to tell but if you just move your device you can see that I'm not touching the screen I'm just moving the device and it's looking around for me so it's actually a pretty cool feature that you may not have known about so now if we go ahead and get out of this let's go ahead and hit back Another nice feature that Google Maps has is being able to save offline maps. So here I am here in Brooklyn, and the way to save an offline map is go ahead up here to the search bar, type in OK Maps, type search, and then it's going to preload the map. Now this area right here is going to be available even when you're offline. So let's go ahead and go back, and we're going to turn on airplane mode here. just like that. All right, we're in airplane mode now. And you can see since I saved this map, I am able to come over here, zoom all the way in, and it's still going to give me all of the street names and everything like that so I can still use this offline. So let's say you want to go to a Starbucks, but you don't know which one is closest to you or you don't know which one you want to go to. So let's go ahead and type search. It's going to bring up a bunch of Starbucks. There's Starbucks everywhere around here. So if we go ahead and tap right here, you can see that you can just swipe to the left and it's going to give you a different location that you can check out. So it's really easy to jump from one location to the next just by a simple swipe. So let's just say that we do want to go to this destination right here. So if we hit route, we'll choose a starting point and we'll just say LA. California so it'll take us just it won't take us very long to get there about eight minutes so let's go ahead and tap that so if we go ahead and tap here and we tap traffic you can see that green is obviously the fastest and red is the slowest in terms of traffic so you can see traffic right on your map right there so if we go ahead and tap preview you'll see that it gives us these directions up here now this is just in beta so you can swipe over to the left just like that and it's going to go to the next step so it's actually pretty nifty when you're trying to plan ahead when you're looking for an exit or anything like that another cool little feature let's go ahead and go back and we're gonna go ahead and cancel this destination another cool little feature is let's say we drop a pin right here and we want to zoom in on it now if we double tap the screen and hold our finger down on the screen on the second tap if we swipe up then it's gonna zoom in if we swipe down then it's gonna zoom out so you can zoom in and zoom out with one finger so let's go ahead and do that one two we zoom in and we zoom out with one finger you can also save locations like save your work and home so if we go ahead and tap right here and we're gonna open up our settings here and you tap edit work or home and you can just type in whatever your address is here so let's just guess that is it and our work address is going to be see what pops up that'll work alright and it's as simple as that now you saved your home address and your work address so you can see here that we actually have our home and work address right here so whichever one we're at we can just tap on the other one and it'll take us straight there and then you can just hit route and there's your route so it's really simple when you have saved addresses because it'll just pop up right when you're about to search for an address let's go ahead and cancel out of that now you can see right here 
this little button right here that's going if you tap that it's going to show you exactly where you are so when using compass mode by just tapping this button twice you'll see that it orientates you just like that so I'm facing northeast so it orients the map to whichever direction I'm facing so it makes the maps a whole lot easier to read and obviously you can save a place so let's go ahead and save uh, let's do LA fitness to so at least do Texas so let's just do this one in Dallas Texas and if you tap down here all you have to do is tap save and it's gonna save that address so there are a few useful tips for Google Maps let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe alright guys until next time this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com